All right, welcome back, everybody. Today, the Mater menu introduces us to a popular restaurant where wood fire cooking takes center stage. Their wine list and atmosphere also gets rave reviews. Check it out. I'm Tyler Mater. Now, imagine being greeted by dancing flames in a stunning open fire hearth where a highly acclaimed former New York City chef has mastered a menu that incorporates stunning local farms and exquisite produce. If you're looking for a true culinary experience, well, I got news for you. I found just the place. Come on in, experience it with me. This is Birch. So we are here with Chef Kyle Nall, the owner of Birch. Right away, I wanna just talk about your amazing pedigree and your training. Obviously, you spent some Pretty significant time in New York and in Gramercy Tavern. Talk about how that influenced what you're doing here at Birch today. It played a, a huge role, um, and I the, the kind of common thought I always think about, you know, that we cooked over fire there. But it, what it really kind of influenced and taught me was, um, you can buy all your produce from the community around you. And you had a pretty great run in New York. You've obviously trained in New Orleans as well. One of the world-renowned restaurant critics, Pete Wells, yep. had some very kind things to say about you. So talk about your decision to come back to Milwaukee. So my wife's from Brookfield. We had our son right before the lockdown. He was okay. born at NYU okay. a month before lockdown. When the opportunity came during lockdown to kind of evolve and do something new, okay. uh, we took that opportunity and, and said, you know what, let's, let's stop what we're doing here and pack up and, and move out to out west of Milwaukee. Uh, why is it so important? What kind of flavors can you impart by utilizing that um, over an open fire grill? Why, why, why the specific focus there? There's a, a quote in a cookbook that I, I really love and uh, when I read it for the first time it's like oh that that kind of makes that's why I think like this and um, but I, I always think and say like you can't make delicious food without great produce so I think buying great produce buying it from people that you know um, you know that it's kind of grown for flavor and nutrition um, and it's great to kind of treat it simply and cook it over fire and let it kind of shine. Right. What kind of flavors are added to produce when you do something like that? What I like about it, you can cook something really hot and quick and get some color and char on it to develop flavor without overcooking the vegetable. So, okay. you know, I think people always talk about, oh, I hate broccoli or a vegetable <laughs> right. because when they were kids, I'm sure it was overcooked. Right. It was mush. Mom didn't do it right. right. It was probably mushy. That's right. Yeah, yeah that's right. Um, another thing here is you've got this incredible wine list. I mean, it's fantastic. Right. So Jeff <laughs> Cleveland, our general manager, right. uh, him and I have built the list together. And um, I think it's important, like we taste all the wines before we choose them for the list. And just like food, it's important to have like a common palate through everything. We find it's important for us, like we want this to be a place where people can come uh, share a bunch of dishes together, open bottles of wine and have them ready to drink kind of in that moment. Um, but most importantly, we want to find wine growers that we want to support. What do you want people that come to Birch to real experience? I think obviously we want people to have delicious food um, and great service, but uh, we always kind of laugh about someone will stop me and say, oh, hey, I love your playlist. And I, I, <laughs> Jeff and I will laugh at each other. And it's because I care more about this whole experience. Right. It being a fun place to come eat. There's a lot to experience, a lot to celebrate here at Birch. Right. Not just your playlist, <laughs> but incredible experience. Right. Uh, incredible sequence of service, table side education, amazing wine. And of course, the food is, is, is such a star here. And I'm excited because now we're going to head in and spend a little bit of time with your chef de cuisine and look at one of, uh, one of your awesome flatbreads. Awesome. So. So we made it into the back of the house. We are in the kitchen where the magic happens with uh, Chef de Cuisine, Zach Castillo. Tell us about what we're to, about to see and about to enjoy here. All right, uh, this is our lamb flatbread. It starts with uh, bread made in house and grilled over the hearth. Uh, and then we make a bread that's basically a pita and Korean Bing hybrid. Okay. Uh, we grill it over the open hearth. Love that. And then brush it with our herb brush here. So just rosemary and thyme. All right, check out the herb brush. Is this not sweet? Are you kidding me? Look at that. You don't, you don't see the herb brush too often and a real real flavor hit. All right. <laughs> yeah, so that just lets us caramelize the milk salads. Uh, just gives us even greater flavor. And then yep. we top it with a uh, salsa we make in-house. Uh, we then top it off with braised lamb neck that mm. our chef raises. Uh, it's Stonebank Farm lamb. 
Uh, it's rotated through the pastures. It allows the animals to get more nutrients. When we braise it overnight, we bring out all that collagen and make a really unctuous, flavorful braise. And you touched so on something really too cool, which is rotational grazing at Stonebank Farms. They actually moved the livestock to different locations, right? To allow that, that grass and that green to be able to grow back so there's more nutrients when they come back, the plants or the greens and the grass are fuller. Uh, we then simply top it off with some feta, uh, mm. some shaved turnips and mustard frills from St. Graf Farms. And feta is the, uh, the queen of sheep cheeses, right? Yes, it is. That's We're it. Just layering flavors there. Tangy and rich, and love on it. on top of that, some fennel flowers from our good friend Terry's Produce out in New Berlin. There you go, that's yeah. awesome. All that's right, it. fantastic. What a stunning looking dish. This is something that you would see um, in a cookbook, but we're gonna be able to eat it here today. <laughs> we're gonna give this a shot, you ready? Absolutely. This looks, uh, I will say this looks too good to eat. Again, like I said, something you would see in a cookbook. This is what you get when you come down here to Birch, right? So, cheers. Cheers <laughs> to an amazing lamb flatbread. Let's go right in. Mm. That is amazing. I'm glad you like it. Great job, Chef. There's a lot of incredible other things in the menu here that you can enjoy. So, first thing I'm going to do when I leave here is make my reservation for the holidays and for the weekend at Birch. Perfect. See you soon. Mm. Yeah, see you there, Tyler. And you can follow Tyler Mater on Instagram at The Mater Menu. He often has giveaways to the restaurants he visits. And we want to give a special shout out this morning to Society Insurance. As our partner for The Mater Menu, they've been in business for more than 100 years, protecting bars and restaurants in the Milwaukee area. So be sure to check them out at societyinsurance.com.